There are two types of titles you can add to your charts. One is the overall title, like this is for the sales. The chart is, so we can add a title that says sales. And then you can have your vertical y-axis title, which is instead of hundreds of dollars, like 400, 600, we could say with the title it's in millions. So that would be 400 million, 600 million, and so on. Then down below we could have it for months, although it's pretty obvious those are months. In any case, to go ahead and add a title to your chart or to the accesses, go ahead and select the chart and then click on its corresponding plus sign. Come over here to the chart elements and you get the chart title. Hover over it, you can see it over on the chart, the preview of it before you actually check it. And you can go this way or, as we talked about in the earlier training video, you can come up here on the design tab, go to the chart layouts group and add your chart elements that way. Brings up pretty much the same list here. Go down to chart title. You've got none. You can do it above the chart or centered overlay and you get more title options. When you select more title options, it actually adds the chart title to it. Okay, the text box with the generic name chart title. And then over to the right, you get your options of fills. You can do a solid fill. Fills in the color. If you don't like that color, go ahead and choose something else, a different color. You can do gradient fill or even come up here, click on the format tab, go to the shape styles group and do a fancy shape style, something ooh, purplishy. And then next you have your, well, shadows, glows. How about something glowy, glowing, warm? You can go ahead and click on the preset drop down arrow and choose something that's nice and glowable. Ooh, that's a little bit awful looking. In any case, I digress. Let's keep moving on. And then you can also make changes here for the alignments. And as far as the alignment goes, with the chart titles, there's not much to work with. And text direction, you can rotate it. Ooh, that crunches everything. But nonetheless, you can do it. Let's go ahead and hit undo. And then you get your text options. So you can flip over and say OK for the text within the uh, text box. Let's go ahead and with the solid fill, instead of black, we can click on the color drop down arrow and choose something else, maybe red. All right, let's not do that. Let's go back to black. And then you can also change if you want a glow around the text, a reflection, a shadow. I'm not going to do that because that's going to get horrendous here with my uh, chart title. I want to keep it simple. And then also with the text, the same options that we had for the title options. And go ahead and close out of it to update it from the generic chart title. Just go ahead and double click inside of it or click inside of it. And double click will select the word. And then you can hit the delete key and hit the backspace arrow and then type over it and say this is my sales. And then go ahead and click off or you can click inside of it. Come up here on the formula bar, hit equals and then go ahead and select a cell that has a label that you want to pull over into for the chart title. Hit enter and it's sales. So if I come over here, and I update this, the label for it, instead of sales, I just say sale, hit enter, it updates it to sale. Hey, now we're having a sale, not sales. Let me go ahead and hit undo. And then to add titles for your vertical y-axis or horizontal x-axis to delineate, like this is in millions of dollars, then you can go ahead and select it, come over here, click on the add chart elements, and then there it is, access titles. You hover over it, you can see the preview of it over in the chart. You can see we've got our vertical axis title and our horizontal. Now if you check this, it'll add both of them, but if you don't want to add both, click on its corresponding little triangle and you can check to add just the primary horizontal and or the primary vertical, check both. And if you want to get into more details, the third level is more options, opens up the corresponding task pane. And then you can go ahead and do what we did like with the chart title. You got your three options here for the title options and also your text options. But for the title options, if you want to do a color fill, that's purple. Oh, that's nice. And then for the text options, maybe we could do something green. I'll go ahead and undo that and leave it as black. In any case, you make the choices here. And then also, if you want glowing around it, everything that we just covered with the chart title, it's the same here. So when I'm done, I can go ahead and close out. And then to go ahead and update the generic access title, of course, we want to click in here, hit the delete key, the backspace key, get rid of it all and say this is for months. And then go ahead and click up here and triple click really fast. You can select all the text within that text box and then just type over it. And this is in millions of dollars. And then go ahead and click off. Cool. And then if you want to get rid of it, you can do one of many ways. You can either go ahead and Select the access title box, then hit the delete key on the keyboard. That works, or hit undo. Probably the fastest solution. 
as opposed to coming over here and clicking on the plus sign, and then going to the access titles, clicking on the triangle and unchecking the vertical access to remove it, or coming up here on the design tab, add chart elements, we're not adding, but we're going to a chart element, which is the access title, and adding the primary vertical back in again. But then we have to, well, let's click off, update that again to save millions of dollars. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.